Washington Reagan National Airport was opened in 1941, and now, even 80 years later, it still remains the city's busiest airport. Despite newer and larger airports opening after the 1940s, such as Washington, Dallas, and Baltimore Thurgood, both of these airports just simply cannot beat Washington Reagan at its largest selling point, which is convenience. In a country such as the United States, it's difficult to find anything convenient. As a European, I'm always taking back by how you can't walk anywhere in America. Washington Reagan, however, is one of the rare few in the United States that can boast the title of being convenient. Located just five miles downtown from Washington DC, the airport has no other contender. And this, combined with New York's LaGuardia Airport, means that travel time between the two largest economic cities on the East Coast could not be better. The airport had over 23 million passengers use the airport in 2019 which is a lot when you take into account the size of the airport. Reagan only takes up 860 acres. That may seem like a lot until you compare that to Washington Dulles at 13,000 acres. And then you consider that both of these airports receive around about the same amount of passengers every year. That makes you realize just how condensed Washington Reagan truly is. This is an older map of Washington Reagan National Airport. Reagan has three runways, two short ones designed for regional aircraft, and then the longer one designed for the larger aircraft. Although the largest aircraft that use this runway on a regular basis is the Boeing 757, the runway can land wide-body aircraft as well, and it has done on a few occasions in the past, like the Boeing 767 and 787. You then have Concourse C, which handles all American Airlines flights as American have a hub at the airport. You then have Concourse B, which handles JetBlue, Alaska, Delta, and United. You then have Concourse A, which handles Southwest, Frontier, and Air Canada. And finally, you have this area, which is used for maintenance, general, and corporate aviation. But in 2018, a new pier at the airport began construction and gained the name Project Journey. The new pier will act as an extension of Concourse C and will be used for regional jets flying up and down the East Coast to destinations like New York, Boston, and Florida. Not only will this new expansion to Reagan include more gates, but it will also change the way the whole airport operates and will make it a lot easier for passengers passing through the airport. But firstly, let's talk about the new terminal. Project Journey began in the year 2018 and every year since then I've enjoyed coming back to the airport to see what construction had been completed in the year before. When construction began, work started removing the old hard stands at the airport and the foundations were laid down. Ever since then, the construction has been going on and the terminal is due to open in stages this year. It will include 14 new regional gates which will bring the total amount of gates at Reagan up to 50. On top of this, it will include an American Airlines Admiral Club and places to eat like Elevation Burger, Meze Mediterranean Grill, and Founding Farmers. In addition to that, it will include 14,000 square feet of floor space for chairs and room to move around. And on top of the new concourse, changes will be made to the way passengers travel through the airport. For passengers that are connecting through Reagan, the airport can be annoying, especially with the tight connection times. Let's say, for example, you're flying American Airlines from Boston to Key West with a stopover in Washington Reagan. When your flight arrives into Reagan from Boston, you'll be put into Concourse C because that's where all American flights depart and arrive into. Your flight to Key West, however, is departing in 30 minutes. And although it will also be departing from Concourse C, it will be departing from the other pier at Concourse C. And due to the way the security checkpoints currently work at Reagan, you will have to travel down the pier you arrived on, exit security, then pass back through security to get onto the next pier. You could easily make the walk to the other pier in 30 minutes, but when you re-enter security into the other pier, you have no control over how long the line for security is going to be. For this reason, connections at Washington Reagan can be tough. However, with the new construction plans at Reagan, security is going to change. Security is going to be moved back, meaning that now you'll be able to walk in between piers without having to pass in and out of security. Not only does this make it easier for connecting passengers, but if you really fancy a Five Guys Burger which is located here, you can now do so without having to exit the secure area. Overall, the new renovations at Reagan are going to make the 
DCA experience so much better. The new expansion is set to fully open in July 2021, but it's due to have a soft opening this Tuesday. This soft opening will mean that the terminal will be open, but minor construction will still be going on. And with that, you are now up to date on the construction at Washington Reagan National Airport. So I want to thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.